To find the motion for the animation, I'm going to come over here to this library tab, then double click on this avatar folder. And after that, I'm going to come down here to this female underscore V2, click on it. And as you can see right here, this is motion folder. I'm going to click and expand the asset tab just a little bit. So when we click on that motion folder right there, we see listed one, two, three, four, five. Select any one that would work for you. For this example, I'm going to select the first one right there, double click on it. Then right here, this open motion window pop up. Leave everything as is. Be sure the transition animation is 30 frames per second, okay? Then click on OK. All right, so it looks like nothing really happened. However, because I'm right here in the simulation window, we want to switch a window to animation window. To do that, I'm going to come over here to the simulation on the right corner there. Then click on the twirling arrow to open and I'm going to click on this animation tab right there. All right, so this information warning us, we will switch from this window to the animation window. Perfect, I'm going to click on OK. So there it is. As you can see right here, this is a transition and this is the motion. So the motion is from here to here. And I'm going to change a couple of things here, okay? So we want to select animation stable to normal and default, just like that. Then I'm going to zoom out a little bit here because when the avatar walk, she will walk from here to here and to here, then out, okay? So I'm going to kind of pan her to the left just a little bit, just like that. So we want to see the whole ground here, okay? Next, I'm going to click on this record icon here to record the animation. Okay, now the animation is recorded. Next, I'm going to click on this playhead right here and then drag it back. See right here? After we record it, we can actually drag it back, moving forward and see in the fast speed, whatever you would like. Next, we want to export that animation, okay? To export the animation, I'm going to come over here to file. Then, we do capture and hover the mouse to the right and then select animation. And as you can see right here, this animation window pop up. And right here, you can change the width of the widow as well as the height of the widow. Let's say if I want to share that on YouTube, I'm going to type in 1920 and then press the tab key on the keyboard. And I want to select 1080. And after that, I'm going to select the record widow icon right here okay and after that i'm going to select this button right here the stop button right there click on it then this turntable widow capture pop up and this allows us to save so before we decide to save this we want to play our animation let's see if that's just the way you want it, and I think I'm happy with it. Now I'm going to press stop right there once again, and I'm going to click the save button right there to save. And I'm going to name it short dress with lace. I'm going to save it to my desktop so it's easier for me to find. Then See right here, the extension .mp4, that's what we want. And I'm going to click on save. Okay, let me open that file that we saved earlier, desktop. 
and then this is the file we save. I'm going to double click to open. Now I'm going to click play. 